Live, 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 live. Merry Christmas, everybody. How's everybody doing? We're live here on Christmas Day. All right, very frigid. We actually ran out of oil yesterday, so I had to go fill up three gas cans full of diesel fuel. I don't know. It's the second time we've run out. Now, we should have switched to natural gas, but they wanted around ten dollars to $11,000, okay? They recently put all new natural gas lines. They tore up the roads, and they just paved it. Now, five years you have to wait, okay? Five years before you can, they can run it because they just did the road, which is smart. But I decided, as many of you know, I'm on borrowed time. My furnace, we'll call it, is from 1984. So it would have been smart to switch, but... I'm going electric. Yeah, I'm going to go freaking electric, baby. Soon. Yeah. Merry Christmas. I might sing. Yes, I might sing a couple songs later. Yep. We got the um, Tool Boss Christmas Band. We're going to be starting to work on that as well. Um, we're going to have a lot of fun in 2020, guys. We really are and i want to start this christmas now i think this is what i think it is that's why i didn't really put it in it to the title but we got something here we've had it for a few weeks kind of just been waiting to do the review here and don't forget tonight we will be doing the bosch giveaway the bosch freak complete with bits adapters all that good stuff all right. Okay, let's see. Yeah, come on. Man. Oh, this I knew this wasn't it. All right. I guess we'll do this one. I really didn't want to do this one. All right, guys. But we're going to do it. Okay. Yeah, they did a good job packing this up. Now, don't forget tomorrow night, guys. Someone is going to win. Stand up, baby. Come on. Can I move this for you? Yeah, who do you want? Oh! My Bosch charger just went down. Beep! We have an interrupt. Please, please stand by. Please stand by. Good morning. All right, guys. Don't forget, tomorrow night, we, someone will be winning this. This is your complete set, guys. Your three eights. All right? SAE. Metric. Ratchet. Tray and case. All right? This will fit real nice in your tool cabinet, chest, cart. Whatever. You're going to get three extensions, as you know. All right? These are a very good kit, guys. This um, retails for $159. And tomorrow, someone's going to win this. Live, 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 live. All right, we'll talk more about this tomorrow. But right now, we're doing the half inch. All right? Now, this is your complete half inch Milwaukee ratchet and socket set all right it's 47 pieces you're gonna get your half inch you're gonna get your extensions 26 sockets 18 deep well sockets removable tray and case all here now ratchet you got a four degree arc swing and we all know about their sockets here with the four flat sides, all right? Milwaukee's been hitting the hand tool um, segment pretty hard here, guys, lately. And uh, they've come out with some really good stuff, guys. Here it is set up out of its hard case. 
and the tray, which again, you can put right into your tool cart, cabinet, whatever, all right? So obviously you got the half inch ratchet here, all right? These are 90 tooth ratchets, all right? You're gonna have 11 standard SAE sockets, all right? 15 standard metric going all the way up to 24 millimeter all right you know you get into a bind you got that 22 right there you got that 21 all right slap it right on your impact wrench all right now you don't want to do it all the time i'm talking about you're kind of really in a bind all right so you can slap it on especially these are you know very well made you know forged strength right chrome plated durability you got that rust protection as well uh you're gonna get eight deep well sae sockets all right from a half all the way up to 15 16 guys all right they didn't they went they went pretty large and it's going up all right to a 19 millimeter all right deep well metric from 10 straight up no missing sockets right up to 19 all right now i would have loved if they would have went up to 21 at least with the deep well um they do go up to 24 standard all right but with some automobiles you know now obviously this isn't for automobiles but i was talking in an emergency situation but you got a three inch extension and a five inch extension all right, now with the 3 8 complete set that someone will be winning, okay, you get a 3 inch and a 6 inch, and you get a universal joint. All right, so the 3 8 you're going to get a longer extension and a universal joint. You don't get that universal joint with the half inch, and you got a five inch extension. What's up, Derek? Rob G Film, James, Todd Smalls, Merry Christmas, D Jones. I love seeing that in there, guys. Everybody's wishing each other Merry Christmas. You know, that's what it's about, guys. Koneman, Edward Jackson, Jimmy Vector, Willie Jilly, Jerry Cube, Tom Rainwater. I love seeing these new people. What's up, Edgar Garcia Einstein? David, David Suarez is back. Stephen Graham. Prale Patel, what's up, Mason Price? Perzox in the house. Don't forget, uh, Patreons, we're going to have a special giveaway. I'm going to probably, we're just going to go live with it. Probably on New Year's, how about on the 30th? Because New Year's Eve is going to be a little bit rough around the old tools. <laughs> All right, so we kind of went over everything, guys. You got that lifetime guarantee. All right, not warranty. It's a guarantee, all right? Lifetime guarantee, all right? Very, very, um, you know, out there, guys, with some of these warranties, you see a lot of limited, limited lifetime warranty. Very rarely do you see guarantee, all right? Now, you got a little, um, yeah, I, I, I mean, guys, absolutely. You know, listen, I want to say the retail price of this, guys. Oh, the half inch. I, I think it's around $200, all right? Um, again, we talked about a lot of these mechanics tool sets this holiday season. Again, this is just half inch. So you're not seeing any 12 points in here. Um, you know, strictly half inch. Yep, it's a great set absolutely now you can get these also are available guys if you don't want the full maybe you're not using a lot of metric probably not you're probably not using a lot of sae but whatever however your toast is buttered you can get it metric separately or sae separately as well um we're gonna set this up with hold on Pardon the interruption. We are going live, 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 live. All right, I got this funky new 
well, it's not that new, but I really enjoy it. I've been really, really enjoying it, to be honest with you. All right, so let's crack her open here. All right. This is your 47 half inch. All right. Milwaukee magic sockets that my hands are about to fall off. It is so freaking cold. You know, I got that rigid heater. And I really, well, I mean, I got it because it was like dirt cheap. All right. But I might have to get that DeWalt. The DeWalt radiant on there. I tell you. It's crazy. The way they got this in here. All right, we got her out. We got her out. Yeah, because, you know, I got the... Um, the Ridge Dirt Cheap it was like $49. You guys remember I did a video on it. They are basically were $129. I think they're back at Home Depot this time of year. But I got it in the spring online, and I, and I did a video on it. All right? Um, this should be ready to rock out of this box. But, of course, you kind of have to have a... You know, you got to have venting, proper venting, because, you know, I don't want to become one of the 16,000 people that die from carbon monoxide poisoning. All right. Wow. This is a nice box. All right. So you got a nice label on here. 47 piece, uh, half inch drive socket set, SAE and metric. By the way, it's item number 48229010. Really nice box. Man, I want to say it's a little bit thicker plastic than the um, 3 8 Now, obviously, this is a lot heavier than the 3 8 um, set. But, wow, what a nice, nice little case here, guys. Everything is, you know, really low, low profile. All right, with this, you got metal clips. Okay. With some plastic as well with the nice milwaukee logo on it well, maybe you can see this one yeah you see that all right really really nice um setup here all right here's your set completely sealed and secured all right now if you're using these you know a lot this obviously we know what these oh thank you thank you merry christmas buddy 94 yeah, I don't know. Even on Christmas, you can't get notifications, 94. Um, but anyway, you got the removable tray here. If you're kind of working outside with this, um, you know, you can put them back in here, which is good. You can kind of keep, you know, what what what's good about this too, guys, is I know most of you guys are probably going to put this in a cabinet or chest or tool cart. But you can kind of leave the hard case underneath right or you can actually slide it in just like this guys it's that low profile that you can slide this into a lot of um drawers but if you do go outside you could always kind of pop it back in this hard case and you know i'm not going to say you're going to have great now of course these are rust resistant but you know you can always put them in there starts to rain you know this will keep them you know, dry. I don't know how water would get in here because it is just the design of this case. I mean, I could probably dump a bucket of water on this and I don't know how water's getting in here. There's no seal or anything, but, and I like how the case, uh, the uh, top lid here, it'll stay wherever you put it. All right. It's not one of those that's going to flop down. So if you kind of got to grab in here, you don't have to worry, you know, space might be an issue where you can't put your lid all the way back, right? So you can kind of, just like this, you don't have to worry about it. You know, you got to keep pushing up to grab your sockets. So again, nice little little uh, feature of this hard case. All right? All right, as you can see, man, that half inch is a monster. It is a big boy there. Let's get our Johnson. Who has their Johnson? All right, um... 
It's an 11 inch. All right. It's 11 inches right on the dot just about. All right. The lighting's a little bit off. I can't improve that. Let me try to improve that for you. You know, I had the thing all set up here. I thought I was doing the pack out radio. I thought the pack out radio was in this box. I gotta shut my phone off. Give me a second, guys. Yeah. You don't mind, right? Do you mind? No, I don't mind. This phone won't shut off, though. No? All right. All right, let me just fix the lighting a little bit in here. All right, I think that helped a little bit. All right, so your ratchet, half inch, 11 inches. So it's a pretty long ratchet, all right? Now, a lot of these half inches, half inch um, ratchets, you know, depending on the brand, could be longer, could be shorter, could be low profile, could not be, you know, you got to have to kind of look and see how this works for you in particularly. But again, you go up to a 24 millimeter socket. Everything is labeled here. Um, we'll show you here. We're going to crack this bad boy open. All right. Nice job they did here. You know, like I said, guys, for the Milwaukee fan, this has been great. You know, them getting into these hand tools. A lot of, you know, the people that have them. You know, a lot of people might be, ah, they're, you know, this Milwaukee, they're overpriced, this or that. You know, you could say what you want, you know. Listen, are a lot of non-Milwaukee fans going to buy this set? Probably not. But the people that are diehards that, you know, bleed red. Like, who bleeds red? But if you do bleed red... You get it? Because we all bleed red. That's what I'm talking about. Well, we actually you know blood is blue. You know that? Blood is blue until oxygen kind of hits it and turns it red. I learned that in science class, uh, 1988, I believe. All right. Or maybe 86. It might have been 86. All right. So it's all plastic. We should have full access to the sockets and extensions and all but again if you're into milwaukee guys there have been nothing but rave reviews about these milwaukee um hand tools again are they expensive are they more expensive than other brands depends on what you're comparing it to obviously not as expensive as our snap-on you know madco those you know crazy priced insanely priced um hand tools but you know it's it's mid-range and i think for the price you know like i said we saw this 3.8 set guys on sale for 89 dollars. all right a complete set. that's when you kind of got to jump on it they do have deals on these sets guys all right um but Overall, these are great, great um, ratchets. They're great, great sockets. You have to ask yourself, is it something that you want to invest into? All right, but right here, look at this bad boy. One and one eighths, all right? All labeled, okay? Hopefully you can see that. All right, you got the one and one eighths, one and one sixteenths, and then you got the one inch, again. 15 sixteenths all right going deep all right it's kind of weird right because a 15 sixteenths i don't know i and what's great about these sockets too is you don't have to kind of worry about them rolling around if you kind of look in here in this um tray you know there's not you don't have to kind of snap anything in right because you really don't have to worry about the stuff moving around all right because of this uh the uh, design of these sockets but you got the nice Milwaukee logo etched in. And if you ever need um, a replacement, maybe a damaged one, or maybe, you know, you lost one and you want to, you know, buy another one. Um, I believe you can buy these individually. Um, and they have the item number or model number right on each one. Uh, the 15, 16, 4, 5, 3, 4, 9, 1, 3, 3. But you got the nice engraved. All right, so you have kind of like etching on the logo. 
all right but they wouldn't with the, this you know and obviously once kind of dirt gets in in there and and, and oil you know it kind of makes like an outline right kind of gets filled up with black but you can kind of see it even better when it gets kind of dirty when they got that engraving but um you got labels on both sides all right which is cool but um again you know half inch all the way up to 15 sixteenths all right this is your deep well and then you go up to a 19 um which is weird which i was kind of talking about is you go up to a 15 sixteenths in sae but only a 19 millimeter all right so you think you got a 15 sixteenths you you think you'd have a go up to 21 millimeter here i'm a little surprised to be honest with you all right um you know, because a 15 sixteenths is, is really, you know, a 22, 21 millimeter around there. Um, but, and then here you have your short boys. All right, this is the 24. All right. All right, as you can see, your 24 is bigger than your 15 16 but here is your 22 like i said and if you notice you see that really nice thin wall these are very thin guys all right so really really nice sockets guys but i'm i'm surprised they only go up to 19 i, I wish they would have went up to 21 and at the minimum i would have loved to have seen hey we're going 24 shorties Let's go up to 24 deep well, but didn't happen. All right, but you do go up to 19, guys, and that's really, you know, plenty. Now, I believe the 3 8 also goes up to 19, or maybe it's 18. Yeah, it goes up to 19. So I'm going to be honest with you guys. I'm, a, you know, it's up that um, something you kind of have to think about with this half inch set uh, i'm gonna be honest um now you're covered up to 24 millimeters with your shorties but with your deep well again some of these half inch sets go to at least 21 most of them now again if they go up to 24 millimeters on the short sockets but more of the, uh, the more premium sets usually go up to 21 millimeters on your deep well as well. Again, they only went up to 19. Um, you know, that 3.8 set, guys, is a really, really, you know, the, you don't see a lot of these 3.8 sets going that high. All right. Um, so I think, you know, you heard me do the video on that. I think there's a, a lot of value in that 3.8 set. And again, most of you guys, most people, you know, if you had to ask me what the most popular ratchet is, it's probably the three eighths. Then it's really close between a half inch and quarter inch. I'd probably give it to the half inch, but you know, whatever. Um, but again, to get the three eighths complete set for eighty nine dollars, when it was eighty nine dollars, that was your time to jump because now it's one sixty nine. All right. Uh, hopefully somewhere along the way we'll see that again but this is the main part here all right wow all right here is your half inch ratchet we're gonna put this down a little bit now and kind of take a look here all right like uh we just measured it guys all right it's item number four eight two two nine oh one two all right i think right there you can kind of see it all right um 11 inches long you got the nice logo on the handle here um i really like the design of these guys um you know it's it's pretty simple it's nothing you know it ain't like the wearers that kind of jump out at you some of their ratchets um it's a pretty basic design you got a real streamlined head i really like that to get into those tougher areas um these are 90 tooth ratchets guys right i'm pretty sure anyway 
actually the half inch. Uh, do yeah, ninety tooth design. And we talked about the anti roll, but you got the slim profile head, guys. Like I was talking about, um, you know, to really get into those tough areas. Um, we'll put on the we'll put on the one inch. All right. Okay, look at that. You got that nice, yeah, how oh, cool. All right, we'll do a more in depth with these. Um, I'm just kind of just doing an unboxing here, but you got 90 teeth here. Um, real smooth, guys. Um, yeah, very, very comfortable. You know, uh, nice balance. Um, you know, the weight is distributed very nice with this ratchet. You know, like I said, guys, these are great ratchets. Um, and don't automatically, you know, we talk about the cobalt a lot, right? And, you know, cobalt, not bad, all right? You know, $35 for a complete mechanics tool set. Now, obviously, that was a, you know, a sham, right? That shouldn't have been $35. But, you know, they have, they also have 90 teeth. I was going to try to show you, but... I got so much stuff on here. Let me show you there. I think this, yeah, we got it. Let's do it. We got it. Come on. Let's do it. Okay. Yeah, get her out of there. Get her out. All right. So here is the cobalt half inch. Okay. Now. As you can see, Milwaukee is much longer. Maybe you can't see. Let me. Um... All right. So the my uh, the Milwaukee is much longer. Again, you see how the head bulges right out on the cobalt. You got that nice streamlined, that low profile, right? That real skinny. Um, head on her all right um yeah oh absolutely both 90 tooth okay both 90 tooth but you can't always go by you know how many tooth how many teeth right the ratchet is because i'll be honest with you guys this is a 90 tooth cobalt okay you look at some of these you know wearers that are 72 tooth um you know, Weehaws, right? And I'm sure Snap-on has some 72 tooth ratchets. I'm not sure though. But, you know, it's not automatically better because it has more teeth, all right? So, you know, Cobalt, 90 tooth ratchet set versus the Husky at 72 teeth, right? exactly i i like the husky ratchets and i i'm gonna be honest with you you know the weight of this even though it's shorter it the the weight is not really well dis, dis oh, wait, yeah. distributed all right so the cobalt two point well let's change the unit well 22 ounces all right 22.47 ounces but really not distributed that well. Now we got the Milwaukee 27.27. 27, all right? It's much longer, okay? Um, I'd say the Husky's probably around 9 inches. Uh, the Milwaukee is 11, like we said, all right? But um, obviously the internals of this Milwaukee is much better, better than the internals of this Cobalt, all right? You look at the size of the head here all right very wide milwaukee definitely a thinner profile all right you can try to you can get this in a lot more tougher spots all right now for those really tough spots obviously you're not using a half inch um ratchet most likely but you see how short you know, you're going right. As soon as you kind of get in here with this one into that tough spot, you, it, it's widening out, all right? You're almost at its full size. With this one, 
you're you're kind of stretching it out until you get to that yeah all right so much thicker handle that's where a lot of the weight is um you know this is very uh, you know i'm uh, they're fine for the money guys i'm not bashing the cobalt here but you, oh, you got that nice thicker handle on the milwaukee here again you got that nice i mean much skinnier even up top than the cobalt here you see how thick it gets and it actually gets wider as you get to the head the milwaukee gets thinner as you get to the head all right it's really wide here you got that milwaukee logo william thank you merry christmas my brother going real thin and then you come out okay um william thank you so much my brother merry christmas i, I appreciate that man i do yeah you know i was uh got contacted on doing that um that club i don't know you join a club you basically give me money right for no reason and it's like a little you join and when we go live you get a little logo next to you i haven't done it i'm probably not gonna do it i don't like you know feel comfortable doing that to be honest with you um so again what we do on patreon you know william I love that. You, you know, I appreciate that, man. That's awesome. But I'd rather see you win something, right? On, on Patreon, we I mean, I give away big stuff every month. It ain't like I give away a $20. Uh, I give away full kits and everything. We kind of pull that money into a, you know, a prize, a gift. And we try to have everybody win at least once a year. Some months we do two giveaways. Um, some months we do three. Um, you know, Christmas we'll, we'll probably do a couple, but I appreciate that, William. I that is awesome. I love you, brother. God bless you. All right, so yeah, uh, thank you. Merry Christmas, buddy. But yeah, so a nice set here, guys. You know, I don't know what the price is. I should have looked that up. I want to say this is. You know, I, the half inch guys, listen, I don't want to, I think there's a lot of value in the three eights. I, I think if you were to get one set from the Milwaukee, the first set, you kind of want to try out and really see if you like these ratchets from Milwaukee. If you like some of the features of them, you know, the anti-roll um, sockets, you know, I would try that three eights, man. I mean, for eighty nine dollars, you got both. Now, I, I know a lot of you guys jumped on it, but I know a lot of you guys didn't, and then were punching yourself in the groin area after it was over. Um, because really, for ninety nine dollars, we know you're getting. Well, you can get it for eighty nine dollars now, um, and that's a good set too to try. Don't be afraid. You know, for eighty nine dollars, guys, you're getting the S A E. 3 8 Milwaukee ratchet and socket set with a low profile packout box and an eight piece screwdriver set for $89. Try that out. Oh, D Shook, thanks. Wow. <laughs> I hey Shook, I appreciate that, brother. Merry Christmas, man. That's awesome. And uh, you know, my man D Shook is another one. Um you know, here and there, he comes on. He's always watching, but um, I, I'm glad that you are watching. Luis, what's up? What are the best tools, power tools? There's no such thing as the best. There's the best for each person, right? Not everybody, you know, is going to think Makita is the best, right? Because they don't make some of the stuff that DeWalt makes, right? So for them, it's not the best. Thank you. Sweet. Yeah, uh, I appreciate that, guys. Hit me up, D-Shook, on Instagram. I'll send you out something. I appreciate that, man. D-Doctor, Highway and Hedges, tool time. Where is Shaka? Um, but anyway, yeah, it's a great set to try, you know, and see if you like them. If you like the three eights, Shaka, <laughs> all right. He's famous, man. I'm telling you. I get a lot of... When he wasn't on for those two weeks, I don't know what he was doing. He must have been uh, traveling or something. 
Um, we got a lot. Where is Shaka? And everybody always writes, you know, yeah, they're always bust when I do a Ryobi video. But anyway, guys, hopefully you can get a nice look here. Nicely greased. Um, you know, you got two torques. If you ever want to open this up, you want to clean her out. Um, easy access. Um, obviously, here is your, and you got, wow, look at all that. See that nice oil? It's just flowing right out of your, yeah, your lever there. All right, let that oil flow. Don't wipe it. Let it stay there. All right, leave it there. Wipe it around. All right, don't be afraid to get them a little, yeah. But, guys, like I said, try the three eights if you really like the three eights, which I think you are. Um, I think you're going to love the three eights. And if you like them, then you might want to get into the half inch here. Um, I got a little thing that I'm going to be setting up in here, guys, where we're going to start testing these ratchets. Um, my man Sam was, I think, in the process, but I have a, a much easier idea of what we're going to do. Um, but we're going to start testing some of these ratchets and kind of put them more to a test more, uh, obviously just for fun. You know, guys, we, you see a lot of these, these, these tests that, you know, that I started doing around three and a half years ago with the impact wrenches and stuff. Um, you know, they're just made for fun. I kind of put that in a lot of the, the description, you know, obviously you're not going to be doing this kind of stuff. You know, you can burn any drill up if you want to, right? Any impact if you're doing stuff that it's really not intended for. Um, so if you kind of use it for what you're going to use it for, now obviously you're going to buy the impact that spec-wise and feature-wise and construction-wise is going to match what you're doing with it. You know, you're not going to buy a Bauer impact driver and be you know sinking lags into metal you know on a construction site right you know so exactly yep what's up tool time tony amos get your ryobi yeah okay all right so yeah guys um here are the little uh again 10 mil millimeter all the way up to 24 millimeter on the shorties. You know, a lot of the guys are using metric now, right? Um, that's why I wish they would have kind of maybe went a little bit smaller with the SAE and went a little bit bigger with the metric. But I be I don't know if they have a new half inch. I think they have a new half inch ratchet, guys. Because I remember talking to the guy... I don't know. I, I really, honestly. But, yeah. Oh, yeah, you do. And Yeah, I will. I'll show you that, guys. So, a lot of people want to see it out of the, you know, out of the box here. Let's put our one inch back. So, I, I love the tray, guys. I love how everything is in here. It's labeled. Um, you know, I some of these are very, you know, claustrophobic, so to speak. With this one, I mean, everything is just easy access, right? There's no clicking. Sometimes you got to try to pull, you know, you, you got your drill in your one hand or you got something in your other hand or maybe you got your other hand holding a piece, you know, you're trying to not to spill something because you got, you know, you don't want it to come at, ah! Oh! With this, you don't have to worry about it. You don't have to kind of yank them out because a lot of these kind of snap in, right? And once they snap in, Man, especially if you got, you know, oil or grease on your hands, you're trying to get them, get them out of there. Um, you don't have to worry. I mean, everything, super simple. I mean, you can get anything out like it was nobody's business. All right. I mean, take one, two, three, take four, five. I mean, very easy, guys, with this tray. Um, and like I said, this tray is removable. And I can kind of show you. All right, now, obviously, much heavier than our 3 eighths, but really nice, all right? Again, not as thin either, okay? And here is your Milwaukee Guarantee 
card. All right, I'm going to show you, you know, how we kind of put that into a nice drawer where everything is nice and neat. Again, 47 pieces in something kind of this small, going up to 24 millimeter. All right, so they did a great job with this tray. I think they put a lot of time in it. Thank you again, Shaka. I appreciate that. Will, what's up, buddy? All right, and here is your mechanics hand tool lifetime guarantee card. Wow, KC. Wow, you didn't need to do that, man. KLC, thanks, brother. Man, KLC, hit me up on Instagram, KLC. You didn't need to do that, brother. I appreciate that, man. Wow. God bless you, my brother. All right, so if you ever need a replacement and maybe you kind of lost your card and you're watching this video, 1-800-SAWDUST, uh, all right? Or you can email. Thank you, KC, man. That means a lot to me. Thanks, bud. Hit me up or email me, toolboss44 at gmail.com. Um, or email them at Mechanic hand tools at milwaukee.com. All you need is a product description, a photograph of the product, name, and shipping address. So they're they're ready to ship it right out to you guys. All right. You know, that is another great, you know, listen, we talk a lot about some of these brands when it comes to warranty and dealing with them. There is no easier, and uh, you know, listen, Milwaukee has its good points and its bad points. But I can tell you, because I just did it around two months ago with the vacuum. My vacuum switch wasn't working anymore. And you guys know about that because for a year, I kind of just let it go. Um, and I was I did a few videos, you know, using it just to show you. But the switch was messed up. But I finally, because the vacuum was around four and a half years old. And a lot of you guys were edging me on. Hey, man, you better get that warranty. You got six months left. And the reason why I didn't want to do it was because, you know, I didn't want to fill paperwork out and all that. Now, but I, you know, I knew what you had to do with Milwaukee because I now it wasn't this easy when I used them three years ago. But again, I used them two months ago, literally doodaloop, 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 enter. And I want to say four days later, I had a brand new vacuum at my doorstep. All they wanted was the model number. They wanted the item number, and that's what has the date on it, right? Mine was from 2014, all right? So I just kind of beat the punch. I actually had the old style. So they get, I bought the Gen 1. They sent me the Gen 2. So from just having a switch that didn't work, they probably could have fixed that switch for like $2. But they said, you know what? This is kind of a discontinued model. Send this gentleman the brand new Gen 2. All right. So dealing with them, and I didn't expect to get a brand new one, but super simple. You go right on the website, you know, same thing here, you know. And if you guys remember with these things, remember, all you had to do was take a picture with your phone and text it, right? That was a great idea. And I hope if they ever, um, I think, this is not a defunct um, bit line or platform from Milwaukee, uh, this matrix. I think they're kind of working on I think they're kind of like redesigning them. So we may see them again. But, I mean, that was the cat's meow. You kind of bust it, take a picture with your cell phone, and, all right, I'm sending this over to you, bud. All right, thank you. We'll have your next one out in a couple days. But, anyway... Great, nice set here. Um, here's the tray, really well built. Again, you have a couple options. You know, you can put this in your drawer, your chest, your cabinet, your tool cart, any way you want. You might want to put it this way, right? You got kind of everything. Um, whatever way works out best for you. Everything is easy access, easy labeled. Um, you got that nice finish on it. Won't get rusted. Um 90 tooth ratchet again 10 millimeter to 24 millimeter on the shorties and you got um 10 to 19 no skip 10 to 19 no skip on your deep well 
and you got half inch all the way up to 15 sixteenths on your deep well um, SAE. But on your SAE shorties, you're going from a half inch, just like your deep well, all the way up to this bad boy, one and one eighths. All right, one and one eighths, one and one sixteenths. And then you got your one inch. All right, folks. Um, again, we kind of looked at the ratchet. Let's throw on the um, a deep well here. All right. Yeah, see how smooth. It's not loose. Yeah. Yep. Oh, beautiful. And it's just the weight. It's just a very comfortable. I mean. Again, uh, I, I almost wish, I mean, this, this thing is just, it's very, you know, I, I wouldn't use this that much. I can tell I, I just wouldn't like using this half inch from Cobalt. Um, it's just very, very big, very uncomfortable. And it, it's very short for a half inch. All right. Um, not saying it's extremely short, but, you know, if you're looking for a, a more lengthy, and I believe the Husky one might even be longer than this. Now, I only saw it in the store, but I believe this one is nine inches. Let me just accurately. Yeah, it's just around 10. Let me see. Yeah, it's actually 10 inches. All right. So... And I think our Milwaukee was 11, right? So that one inch, you know, makes it. And I think it's kind of just the look of it, too. Yeah, it's around 11 inches. A little bit like one and one and one, 11 and one sixteenths. All right. But obviously that one inch, right? take it closer i know we just did this but why am i showing you again i don't know but all right so obviously a little bit a little bit bigger than an inch but again um you know what's great about this too is you can kind of grab it almost at the right here and still get a real nice grip on it there. with this one you know it's yeah it's so you, you can't get it and it's so top head like this is so heavy up top this is where all the weight is guys all right I, I i would look at the husky i'd look at the husky the ratchets is probably you can always get another ratchet right so with these mechanics tool sets just getting off the milwaukee for a quick second you know here's the 35 dollar cobalt right and then you got the husk well this is a hundred dollars so is the husky most people all right if they don't like the ratchet, you might not like the ratchet with the cobalt. Again, this has 90 teeth. I like my 72 tooth husky a lot better. All right. Now, 82 Camino. What's up, buddy? Phil's lawn care and repair. What's up, buddy? Edward Jackson. We got him. Oh, you got a three ton Chevy, KC? All right, Merry Christmas, 94. I'm almost done here myself. Um, what was I talking about? Oh, yeah. You can always kind of get another ratchet. You're, you're basically buying them for the sockets, right? The extensions. You know, don't go crazy. Now, listen, the ratchet will be fine. Say you're getting the cobalt, right, for $99. Excellent buy, especially for 35 bucks. But you're getting it for $99. If you don't like the ratchet, don't go crazy and don't flip out. Just buy a different one. Buy one you like, right? And now you got this one as kind of, you throw this in another bag where you don't really have to use it that much. Um, you know, when you're buying these Milwaukee sets, it's almost opposite. You're buying it for the ratchet, right? You're buying it for the... Right, exactly. Yep. Well, yeah. 
I, I believe they do. I mean, wow, this is such a difference. You know, just the feel, guys. And I, I know I keep repeating myself. Um, but with a lot of these cheaper ratchets, you know, again, just because it has 90 teeth. I don't know if the Icon ratchets, did they get, um, what, what got, what got, um, recalled from Icon? Something got recalled, someone was telling me, from Icon. I don't, I don't really, I don't know if it was the sockets. I did hear the sockets are very soft on the Icon end. Um, but I don't know if the ratchets, something kind of got recalled from Icon, but. You know, perfect example. The Flex 3.8s did. Now, was it because of the internals of the ratchet? Oh, CW, thank you. 3.8s ratchets. All right, so perfect example right there, guys. Now, I'm not bashing Icon because I, I don't know. I never saw, I never used, I don't know. But, you know, you got these 90 teeth that they kept advertised. 90 tooth, compare it to Snap-on. Compare our... And, you know, the Icon are not cheap. Now, I don't know if they lowered the price on some of that Icon stuff. It kind of looks like they did a little bit. But, you know, again, 90 tooth Icon compares with Snap-on. You know, these are the best. Spend, you know, spend $100 on this instead of 400 And then, you know, a week later, two weeks later, three weeks later, people are using them and, you know, they're getting recalled. All right? Um, Frankie! Gambino, Merry Christmas, my brother. So, yeah. So, again, um, we'll finish this up. I'll show you. I'll, I'll tell you, these trays are very nice, guys. Very nice. All right, here's the DeWalt. Um, all my life. And all my life, you have been so, so good. Come on. And every... <laughs> wow. I mean, like a glove. You couldn't do it any better. Better. I'm better than yours. Yes, sisters. All right. So here is uh, the DeWalt. Uh, tool car again everything fits on here like a glove i'm really liking this now if you, you guys saw the video you know what i'm talking about um i got that little tray right from the dewalt tough system all right i got my ratchet in there some dewalt screwdrivers but it fit in there so so good all right so here it is on the dewalt again if this had a drawer you know, you have plenty of room, right, to slide this in. I'm going to move this here, and we'll fit it in there. But, um, you know, easy access. Now, my honest opinion, if you're going to keep it out like this, you know, this is definitely an option. Don't get me wrong. But I would probably keep it, you know, in its case, all right, because it's really, you know, everything kind of stays up. So it's not really a big deal. Now, again, if I was to kind of move this around, here's my Husky, which, you know, it's old, but it, I like it a lot, All right? But I'll just move this over. This is my mobile cart, all right? This is the cart that um, I wheel in and out of the garage, or I'm going to be because I just got it probably a week ago. But I love how light it is, how light and how easy it kind of moves. All right? But... So oh, if you are leaving it in a cart setting, kind of like on, you know, your top work area on, on one of these tool carts and these tool carts are very popular for the automotive. Um, Cause you're going to be, you can move them really easy. You know, there's a lot of different ones. There's some with drawers, you know, tool carts are very popular in the automotive shop. Very it, they're always right next to the worker, to the automotive tech, because they can easily. But with this, I would probably leave it in its hard case. Again, because, you know, you kind of have it up, right? And you kind of have a little bit of protection from someone just coming over and snagging. 
Now that's the one thing. This this cart we talked about it. Probably not the best um, for the tech, right? Unless you're really the only person, maybe you and you know the owner type of a thing. But if you have like a big shop or you know where there's a lot of people kind of working, there's a lot of techs, whatever. You know, maybe work at a dealership, right? And there's always people coming in and out of there. This you'd want to lock up, all right? You know, but that's why it's great. You could put it in the drawer. But I guess you can also lock the hard case if you wanted to. But again, you got two options, guys. That's my whole point. Because the hard case, again, you got that lid that'll stay wherever you want it to stay. So you're kind of going out to lunch. You don't want to leave this like wide open here. You can kind of just, you know, not that someone just couldn't lift it up. But at least they won't see what you kind of have here. But again, this is a very small cart. And it fits on here perfect, right? These are just all from the DeWalt Tough System um, containers. But, and the same thing with the drawer. Um, I could probably, I just want to see. Yeah, easy. If you have the Milwaukee cart, um, it'll fit in here. No problem. No problem at all. All right. Yep. And if someone wants to know, hold on, because that actually someone might be might watch this video. Um, someone might watch this video after. So if you do have a cabinet a whatever a drawer on your tool cart on your chest on your cabinet all right this is under one under one and a half inches all right so just under one and a half inches all right so if you want to measure your drawer to see if your half inch will fit in your drawer it's one and a half and obviously um, you know, it raises up, I would say, and that's not much, you know, if you got one that's under two inches, you know, one and one and three quarters, you'll be fine. All right. So you want it to be at least, I would one and a half, you'll be all right. All right. Cause this is under one and a half and this isn't much here, but you want to be at least, I would say one and three quarters if your drawer is one and three quarters. You have no problem fitting in the half inch. The three eighths, well, you would definitely be able to do that. We did that when we did the last video, but thank you. Yes. Oh, what's up, buddy? APEC. Merry Christmas. All right, guys. Tommy Sick. Merry Christmas, buddy. Uh, this cart was $75 with a free DeWalt T Stack uh, box. All right, Tommy Sick, you live, Tommy, hit me up on Instagram. Tommy, Tommy, hit me up on Instagram. I got something for you. But yeah, and I still think they're doing that in Acme Tools. Uh, maybe I'll, I'll put the link under if it's still going on. But uh, yeah, I like it for 75 bucks with a free, you know, anything you want. Because it's, you know, $100 off anything over $100. So it's $79 for this. But if you spend 100 right? You get $25 off. So I got it for 75 bucks because I spent $22 on a DeWalt T-Stack box. All right. So, and it's good, you know, it's, it's perfect as a bait. And that's what they call it. The ba DeWalt basic tool cart. All right. There's no drawers, but you can load a lot of stuff on it. Easy to kind of roll in and out. Um, and that's, you know, this thing is just Super heavy now. It's got a lot of stuff on it. You know, this is um, you know much bigger here. This thing's great. And I like I said, if they if they had this for three ninety nine, if they would bring this to three ninety nine, they would sell thousands of these. Now I know a lot of people have them because every time I do a video, I get pictures on Instagram of people showing me theirs. So you know they're doing pretty good with it, but. I think for three ninety nine, and it's a shame because people don't know how well built that this tool cart is. 
this thing is just awesome. I, I don't think there's any there's a better tool card out there, uh, construction wise. Uh, the casters are freaking monsters. Um, it's just it's just awesome. But you know, you only have one drawer, right? Now they call it a two drawer because you do get one on the bottom. All right, I gotta go, guys. I got a uh, uh, ham. I gotta get. Uh, they're calling. You know, I don't know what the hell is going on up there, but they're yelling. I can hear them yelling. They're yelling. What's going on down there? You said forty minutes. It's an hour. All right. So guys, the Milwaukee half inch socket and ratchet set again. You know, a great set, guys. I I really adhere you to try their three eights again. Eighty nine dollars with a pack out low profile box and a eight piece Milwaukee screwdriver set for eighty nine dollars. Best way to kind of try these out, right? Try them. You like them, which I think you're gonna. I think you'll love these half inches as well, guys. All right, Milwaukee half inch ratchet and socket set available now. We'll catch you guys. Merry Christmas to all. Thank you again, everybody, for this year. Uh, thank you for donating, my man. Uh, I can't even say it, man. Thank you so much, KLC Lawn Care. That, that's awesome, man. Uh, that, that Shaka is the best he's always supporting what i do i love shaka d shook thank you again my, my 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 man my brother and william logan has been with me for probably since i started this channel william logan my brother and that's what it's about these holidays guys spend it with your family i tried posting a video hopefully you guys can still see it um i, I did a post on it and now they wouldn't let me repost it they're saying it's blocked but I still have it. Um, hopefully you'll enjoy it. And let's remember what today is really about. Right? Christ. God bless you guys.